Hi guys, this is Steve. I'm sitting here in my lab uh, here in Iowa City campus in room 103. I'm making this video uh, kind of as a Camtasia demonstration. Um, just to let you know uh, how, how to use Camtasia and how it can be applied uh, in the classroom to uh, to upload videos to our LMS, Angel LMS, or, or to help uh, aid in student learning. Um, hopefully you'll find that Camtasia is an easy to use um, application. And here's where you would go. Uh, right now what we're going to use is a downloaded free trial version of Camtasia Studio 7.1. And I'm going to move it over to the screen here so we can capture this. And this is where you would go to get that. You see up at the top, you go to www.techsmith.com. And then you'll, from there, you'll be able to navigate, of course, to this page, which is Camtasia Screen Recording Software. And you'll notice down here, there's a download a free trial available to you. And that's a 30-day free trial. And it's a full-blown version. It's not a limited version like many of the that free downloads are. So it makes it really nice to, to try it out and use it. Uh, this year I purchased a couple, ver uh, couple uh, I, I purchased Camtasia Studio 7 for a couple computers, a couple of software licenses. And it runs about $299 per license. And it's certainly something to think about if it's uh, something you think you would use very often uh, put, to put it on your equipment request for next year. The other piece of equipment, I sent you guys all out an email earlier in the year uh, talking about what webcam I use and what kind of uh, headset I use. The webcam I'm using currently is a Microsoft LifeCam HD. It's a 1080p HD camera with built-in uh, microphone. So that's what you're hearing me from. Hopefully you're hearing me well enough uh, through this microphone. The other thing that I suggested that you buy, in case you don't want to put yourself in the videos like and use a webcam, and you're just going to do screen capturing and narration, then I would suggest you get um, a good headset, much, one much like this one here. And I sent you the information on this, the Logitech. Uh, headset. It's about an $80 headset and you can get them cheaper than that but I like this $80 one because it's one thing it's high quality it's got a boom mic on it uh, that is a very high quality boom mic but what you pay extra for basically are the controls on the side um, I think because uh, you get a high quality microphone but you also have the ability to mute it and stop it uh, volume controls and things like that. It's a very good microphone if you're ever going to do any narration podcasting certainly is another good one um, it's a noise canceling mic uh, on it so it does really well. The other thing I like about it is a USB plug which makes it very easy to put into our computers. You don't have to worry about those getting the little, you know, little prongs in the right holes and things like that. You just shove it into any USB uh, any USB uh, outlet that you have and you're, you're good to go, or any USB socket, okay, and you're good to go and, it'll, and the computer recognizes it pretty readily. So there we go. That's the equipment I'm going to be using today. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Camtasia to make the kind of video that I would make that I would put into Angel. It seems like one of the things that my students really struggle with every semester is I get things put in the Dropbox and I go to open them up, students will submit an assignment or they think they submitted an assignment and they didn't upload the file. Uh, what is there is just their name and nothing else. And so I will give them a zero and I'll send them an email message back saying, you didn't upload anything. And I tell them, make sure you, you select the files to upload before you hit the submit button and that you actually click on upload, wait for them to upload, verify they're there and then submit it and then it goes in the Dropbox and of course at that point it's gradable. The other thing that I get is when I give multiple assignments and I put one Dropbox out there and let's say I give three assignments worth 30 points and I want them all submitted at the same time what I will get is three separate submissions because they don't understand how to upload multiple files. They do one at a time, hit submit, do another one, hit submit, and another one, and hit submit. And I would like the files all uploaded together. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make that kind of video just to show how I would do this uh, for my, to, to be able to deploy to Angel to help students get over this very, obviously very difficult task that they have to do. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this screen here. I'm going to go to Angel. Okay. So I'm going to go to Angel, and of course we all know that it's on the Kirkwood's website page. We just click e-learning, and then we go to Angel. So I'm going to type in my name, my, my K number. And when I get there, you'll see that I have a lot of classes out there. 
Uh, and I'm going to just use, uh, go to my internship uh, because no one, I only have one person doing an internship so they won't be affected by anything I put out there, won't freak them out. I'm going to go to internship and the first thing I'm going to do is go to my lessons tab and then um, I'm going to put it in student view. I'm gonna, first I'm going to create, I guess I need to create a really quick Dropbox. So I'm going to add content and go ahead and create this Dropbox title Oh Camtasia Camtasia presentation Oops. Dropbox okay and of course, if I were actually doing this, I would put an assignment. I would give it points and things like that, and tell what it uh, was supposed to be. But I'm going to give my students instruction: submit both assignments here together. Hopefully, they'll they'll figure that out then. And I'll put a due date of due May. What's the date of our presentation? May 10th. So tomorrow is the presentation. So we'll do May 10th. All right, now I'm going to save that. My Dropbox will, of course, appear right there. All right, so now I'm going to switch to student view so it looks like what the students are looking like. I'm going to begin that preview, go back to my Lessons tab. And now I'm a student, and I come along, and I want to uh, submit two assignments into this Dropbox. So the first thing I do is I go to the Dropbox, and it, you'll notice it says submit both assignments here together. So I would go, first of all, and I would type in a title. And students, they always want to type in their name and they don't realize that I know that it's coming from them. So to, to give it a title, um, it might be um, uh, research. Camtasia. Okay. And then I always encourage students to put a message in there. Um, Mr. Abrams. I I hope that this it is correct. I waited until the last possible minute to complete this assignment. That sounds appropriate, doesn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to go and click on my attachments because I want to upload the two files that I need. And here's where they always have problems. And I would, I'm going to instruct them to click on Browse. Go and find what it is that you want to upload. And typically you will be using a flash drive. So make sure you find your flash drive under the computer settings here. And mine is Free Agent Drive E. I actually don't use a flash drive. What I use is one of these handy dandy little uh, hard drives, portable hard drives. I found that uh, I was at one point in time carrying six flash drives with me. And the one thing I'm bad about flash drives is you can't label them. So I was constantly searching for things. So this just puts everything in one nice little drive and then I can label the folders and it makes my life much easier. So I'm going to that. Um, and so it, uh, oops, apparently I unplugged it when I pulled on it. So we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to put it back in there. Yeah, we're going to go back to my computer. All right, so great. I unplugged it, so um, maybe I need to replug it. Make it show back up, I guess. Oh, it's unplugged up here. So there we go. Yeah, this should be coming any second now. You'll see it pop onto the screen. There we go, free agent drive. So I'm going to double click that drive. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to find the files that I want to upload. So I'm going to just going to pick these two. Word documents right here. So I'll pick the pick the uh, email etiquette, and then I'm going to pick the I'm going to pick email etiquette. Say open, and then I'm going to say upload it. And you can only pick one at a time. Uh, I think students sometimes try to pick two. So I see that it now shows up under uploaded files. Now I'm going to get the second one. This is where they usually mess up. And I'm going to grab. Uh, I'll just grab this one here. Say open, and then I have to click on upload. So I upload it, and now they are both there, and I see that. Another place that I'll see that is when you look on your, your, on your uh, Angel screen, 
I'm going to move this to the side a little bit. You'll notice down here where it says attachments, you should see them and show up in blue. Uh, the, the file names along with the size. Now I know that they are there. So I can say finished over here and close the screen. And now I am ready to submit. So I click on submit. And it tells me that my submission was successful. I say OK. And now I'm, I'm back um, into the Dropbox screen. And if I look down below, uh, I will see that I have sub indeed submitted a research assignment on Camtasia. If I am nervous and I want to uh, look real quickly to make sure that they're there, all I have to do is click on this research assignment on Camtasia link. And it will once again open back up. It's not, a, it's not the Dropbox. It doesn't open up the Dropbox, but it shows me what I've done. Um, so here's my, my message to Mr. Abram. I hope that this is correct. I wait until the last possible minute to complete the assignment. And then it shows the two submitted files. If I'm good with this, then now I can click Done and I know I'm OK. And it'll take me right back to that original screen. I can click on my Lessons tab and I say OK. So there's my little video of uh, and much like what I would do for students. Now, I've got this video created and I put it right there. Uh, in, in the Camtasia, but it's not inside of my uh, Angel yet. So this is where we're going to go next. So I'm going to go ahead and close Angel because I, I no longer need this. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And I say close all tabs. All right, so I'm done with that part of it. Now I'm going to bring in my, my little uh, bar back over here for my Camtasia. And you'll notice on my Camtasia, this is about 11 minutes and 35 seconds so far. I've got audio levels here. You'll see my little face here where the webcam is. And, and I didn't show you this, but I will tomorrow whenever I'm starting it up. Um, and I can also delete this if I want at this time. But I'm going to choose Stop. 